the gaming world is exploding with almost 3.2 billion gamers across the globe. If you want to turn your passion for gaming into a career, then video game development might be your perfect job. But what do you have to do to get to your goal? My name is Daniel and today I have prepared a game development roadmap for you. It's a step-by-step -step guide to game development to make your way to your dream job easier. Guys, make sure you check out all the useful links in the description after watching this video. There might be some nice discounts there. Let's get into it. What is game development? Alright, so let's talk about what game development actually is and what game developers do. Game development is basically the process of creating a video game from start to finish. It involves a lot of different tasks, like coming up with the game idea, designing how it's going to look and feel, coding it so it actually works, adding things like sound effects and music to make it come alive, and a lot more, folks. But mostly game developers are the people who make this all happen. They wear a lot of different hats depending on what part of the game they are working on. Some developers focus on the coding side of things, writing the code that makes the game run smoothly. Others might be more into the art and design, creating the characters, environments and animations that you see on screen. There are also developers who work on the sound and music, or those who make sure the game is fun and balanced to play. In short, game developers are the creative minds and technical wizards who bring a video game from an idea in someone's head to something you can actually play and enjoy. And believe me, it's not easy. It's a mix of creativity, problem solving and a whole lot of teamwork. Whether it's a small indie game or a big blockbuster title, game developers are the ones making it all happen behind the scenes. Do you need a college education to become a game developer? Well, folks, the short answer is not necessarily. In the game development world, skills often speak louder than degrees. Many successful game developers are self-taught or have learned through online courses, tutorials and hands-on experience. The industry values what you can create, your coding skills, your creativity over a diploma. That being said, a college degree can definitely help. It provides a structured learning environment, access to industry standard tools and often includes networking opportunities with peers and professors who are already in the industry. Plus, some companies might still prefer candidates with formal education, especially for more specialized or senior roles. However, if you're passionate about game development and willing to put in the effort to learn on your own, you can absolutely break into the industry without a degree. Focus on building a strong portfolio, learning the necessary skills and staying updated with industry trends. In the end, whether you choose the college route or not, it's your dedication and the quality of your work that will open doors in the game development industry. Ok, and now let me tell you about all the basic steps that can help you become a decent game dev. Step 1. Start with the basics. First things first, you need to understand what game development is all about. Game development involves designing, creating and programming video games. This means you will be doing everything from coming up with the game idea to coding it and making sure it works smoothly. Step 2. Learn the necessary skills. To become a game developer, you will need to learn some key skills. Programming – this is the backbone of game development. Start with languages like C++, C Sharp or Python. These are commonly used in the gaming industry. Game engines – game engines are tools that help you build games. Unity and Unreal Engine are two of the most popular ones. They have tons of tutorials to help you get started. Art and Design – while not every game developer needs to be an artist, Understanding game design and having some basic art skills can be really helpful. Learn about 2D and 3D graphics, animation and how to use design software like Photoshop or Blender. Sound design Sound design, music and sound effects are a big part of games. Get familiar with audio software like Audacity or FL Studio if you want to add sound design to your skill set. Step 3. Start small. Don't try to create the next big blockbuster game right away. Start with small projects to get a hand of things. Think simple games like Pong, Tetris or a basic platformer. This will help you practice and learn without getting overwhelmed. Step 4. Build a portfolio. As you create more games, start building a portfolio. A portfolio with the collection of your best work. And it's crucial when you're looking for a job or trying to showcase your skills. Include screenshots, videos and playable versions of your games. Step 5. Join a game development community. Being part of the community can be super helpful. You can learn from others, get feedback on your games and even collaborate on projects. Check out forums like Reddit's game development communities or join a Discord server for game developers. Step 6. Keep learning. Guys, before we move on, I try to make my content fun instead of boring. And in return, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the content I make. 
game development is always evolving, so it's important to keep learning, follow industry news, take online courses, and stay up to date with new tools and technologies. Websites like Coursera, Udemy, and YouTube have tons of tutorials to help you expand your skills. Step 7. Work on a team or start indie. Once you're comfortable with your skills, consider joining a team or working on an indie game. Working with others will teach you how to collaborate and tackle bigger projects. You can also try participating in game jams, where you create a game in a short period with a team. It's a great way to gain experience and meet other developers. Step 8. Apply for jobs or publish your own games. When you feel ready, start applying for game developer jobs. Look for positions like junior game developer, game programmer or game designer. If you prefer working independently, you can also publish your own games on platforms like Steam, the App Store or Google Play. Step 9. Never give up. Folks, game development can be challenging, but don't give up. Keep practicing, learning and creating the better you'll become. Salaries and demand in the game development industry Guys, when it comes to salaries and demand in the game development industry, things are looking pretty good. Game developers are in high demand, thanks to the ever-growing popularity of video games across all platforms, whether it's consoles, PC or mobile devices. And one more thing. This demand is only expected to keep rising as more and more people get into gaming. Now let's talk about salaries. How much you can earn as a game developer can vary depending on where you live, your experience level and the company you work for. Generally speaking, entry-level positions might start on the lower end, but as you gain more experience and build a solid portfolio, your earning potential can increase significantly. Senior developers and those in specialized roles, like game designers, technical artists or AI programmers can make some serious money. For example, according to Glassdoor, a video game developer can earn anything from 78k to 141k a year. Overall, game development can be a lucrative career, especially if you're passionate about games and willing to put in the time to learn and grow in the industry. Alright folks, so there you have it, your roadmap to becoming a game developer. It's an exciting journey, but like any career path, it comes with its challenges. Whether you are just starting out or looking to make a career change, the world of game development is open to anyone with passion, creativity and the willingness to learn. But it can be helpful. What really matters is your skills, your portfolio and your dedication to the craft. Start small, keep learning and don't be afraid to fail. That's all part of the process. Game development is constantly evolving, so staying up to date with the latest tools and trends is key. And don't forget the importance of community. Learning from others and collaborating on projects can really help you grow as a developer. Whether you want to work for a big studio or strike out on your own as an indie developer, the opportunities are out there. With the demand for game developers on the rise and the potential for solid earnings, it's a career that's not only fulfilling, but also financially rewarding. So if you're passionate about games and ready to dive in, why not start today? Begin with the basics, step by step build your skills. And who knows, you might just create the next big hit. As usual, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Alright my friends, and that's all about my game development roadmap. Thanks for watching, until next time.